Hello and uh, welcome to Living Well Cardiff. Today I want to talk about women and weight training. And there's a lot of women out there who avoid weight training for the wrong reason and the myths regarding uh, resistance training or weight training. Now, weight training, would you believe it, actually burns more fat and calories than cardio. So if you do 20 minutes of weight training, it actually burns more fat and calories than 20 minutes of cardio. Um, this also, uh, it can boost your flexibility. Now, how does it do that? If you use weights through the full range of movements, so a bicep curl from there to here and back, you're actually increasing the range of the muscle and it, therefore increasing flexibility. So flexibility is, a, is a, also a good factor from weight training. It strengthens your bones. So obviously, as, you, as we age, our bones get weaker, you need to keep them strong. Resistance training and weight training keeps them strong. Uh, and actually, weight training does work the heart. Um, uh, and also lowers blood pressure. So not only does cardio uh, help with heart and blood pressure, so does weight training. Although, that is to say, I would not, I'm not suggesting you give up cardio. But what I would suggest is that you cut back on your cardio and incorporate some resistance training into it. So you work out, you cut in half your cardio and the rest of it, then you just do some resistance training, ideally before you do your cardio. Now, what I want to do is dispel some of the myths surrounding women's weight training and why I think a lot of women out there avoid doing it. So the first one is women shouldn't lift heavy or they will get bulky. This is complete nonsense. Um, you must lift heavy to failure between 8 and 12 reps to tone the muscles up correctly. It's to do with the way the, way the muscle fibres are. So you need to incorporate, so when you put cardio, you're doing a red fibre, endurance fibre, it doesn't really get toned. Um, it becomes better at using oxygen. But the white fibres are the ones you use when you lift heavier. Now, women will not get bulky. The women you see in the magazines are very dedicated to the cause, and I would suspect a lot of them are taking some hormone replacement therapy or some steroids. Um, you know, I can't say for definite, but it definitely looks like it. Or you get one in a thousand women who are very manly anyway. Majority of women got too much estrogen and too little testosterone to get built and bulky. What you will get is a very toned athletic physique and body. Okay? You see these women who got really perp bums, that's from doing squats and weight training. Okay, so the next one, so don't worry, you won't get bulky. The next one. Again, what I've mentioned before, it says cardio burns more fat. That is not true. Now, the way weight training works is you, you, when you lift heavy, you damage the muscle fibre. It causes micro tears or micro traumas in the muscle. Now, this can take up to 48 hours to repair. So the body has to refill and repair those muscles, the muscle damage, after the workout. And again, 48 hours, this, this carries on for. So therefore, your heart rate is raised, you're burning calories, you're burning fat, even after you've done the workout. So you even sat down on the chair after you've done the workout, you're burning more calories and fat because you've done some weight training. Okay? Next one. This really bugs me. Men and women should train, train differently. Why? Why? There's no, no, there's no physiological reason why women should train different than men. We're, we're both made up. Okay, we, 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 we got you know, made it differently in certain ways. When it comes to muscles, we can train exactly the same. If a woman wants to do a deadlift, a bench press, or a squat, there's, n there's nothing stopping a woman doing it. So a woman can train exactly the same as men, there's no difference. Again, this, this, this one's a bit of a, a misnomer, okay? So if you lift weights, you'll put on weight. Now, that's partially true, but what, this doesn't tell you is, you got, muscle weighs heavier than fat, or it's more dense than fat, okay? So, uh, let's say for instance, four kilograms of fat is, and four kilograms of muscle would look a lot different. So, I, I don't know the exact ratio, but it's four times different. So this four kilograms of fat is four kilograms of muscle. So if you put on four kilograms of muscle and lost four kilograms of fat, it would actually be smaller. So therefore, you would drop maybe one or two dress sizes, 
Right, so you, you increase your muscle tone, you increase your metabolic rate, you burn more calories, you burn more fat, the fat reduces and you actually drop dress sizes when you weight train. So don't be afraid to weight train it and this is misguiding, okay, to say you put on weight. So when you get on the scales, you may still be nine stone. Oh, I haven't changed in three weeks, but I've dropped three dress sizes. So you'll be healthier, fitter, more toned, more athletic. So don't really listen to that. Yes, you may, you may put on weight a little bit, but also you're also losing fat. So think about losing fat, not weight, okay? Uh, the next one. Older women shouldn't strength train. Uh, why not? There's no reason why older women can't strength train. Older men can strength train, so so can older women. Okay? Older women, more than ever, should be strength training. As women get older, obviously, you know, going through the menopause, the bone density changes, um, and therefore resistance training is, is more paramount than any time. Uh, obviously, as we get older and we age, we may have to warm up a little bit longer. We're not as strong as if we were in our 20s. But that's by the by, you can still weight train, still resist training. There's no need to stop just because you're a bit older. So don't listen to that as nonsense. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I do encourage you women out there to, to get in the gym, speak to an instructor and start with weight training. If you're not sure, just get the instructor to show you how. I've got plenty of videos on my YouTube channel you can look at to get some weight training ideas. Um, there's always something there to help if you're not sure. Uh, there's more videos as well and workouts on my YouTube channel and also you can catch up with us on Facebook. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed our little talk today and I hope it helps you get along with your exercise and training. Thank you very much, bye.